Okay, guys, let me tell you what's going on here. Uh, this is a... Hey, Tony, can you have your go to command, please? This is a... Alright, they're getting water on the fire right now. This is a second alarm fire at the, I believe, the Sherry Netherland Hotel. Uh, they couldn't find the fire for a while. Alright, uh, the Rolly Fan has 345 in it. He's in car two. They car located three. the fire. Car three, shut off. They're putting water into it now. Let me see which way they went in. They might have gone in on 59th Street. Charlie, we have. I'm on the 174. Where's your location? Alright, we're coming down. We're gonna head out. 174. Four, show for the pool. Yeah, Mike. Alright, uh, this is the building in question, the Sherry Netherland. <coughs> All the members are inside. Uh, they're working on the fire. Uh, this has been going on for uh, about 40 minutes. There's uh, no visible fire, no smoke. It looks like it's in the back. And um, like I said, it, they, it took them a while to find it. They got water on the fire now. Uh, let's see what you got going on back here. There's not gonna be too much to see. However, where the rack at? There the rack at. Hold on. This is your accounted for. They're out of the elevator. Everybody's okay. We're on our way down. Thank you, John. Command to the fire sector. Fire sector, go ahead. Tony, I'm trying to get the command channel set up. What's going on? Yeah, stand by. I'll get the yard out in a minute, all right? Just stand by. That's Chief Corrado. I can smell the fire. <coughs> but there's really... Uh, not much to see. I believe it's in the back, all the way back here on the other side. And uh, like I said, this has been going on for a while. It took them a long time to find a fire, or at least the seat of the fire. Once they found the seat of the fire, they put uh, water on it right away. Yeah, just finish the Alright, you work with the tenth battalion, okay? Definitely. Alright. There's gonna be one of those fires where there's not too much to see, folks. Not even operations, because they're all being conducted inside. That looks like a back door. One six, one six roof. Back door entrance. Right now, before we do any overhaul, what do you think? All right, did they give any indication of what was going on? I mean, is there, was there some sort of criminality involved or what? Yes, yes, there was. Yes, that's why I'm cautious here. Uh, I mean, if the main body is not down, uh, maybe maybe we should hold off. And let me get more information from the uh, FBI. <coughs> All right, let me at least just watch this move down. Really good. All right. Alright, all right, 10 four. And listen, let's start relieving. Let's start relieving these units the first alarm units, okay? Yeah, 10 four. I have to post them on relief. Alright, all right, hold on. Just give me a second. Hold on, guys. I missed some of that transition, uh, transmission. Um, There's just something going on. If you listen to the audio, you'll hear. They're going to start releasing yeah, some of the units. Are you in the fire sector? I agree. Oh, 
Yeah, and again, the FBI is telling me they, they, had, they had been in there for like five hours after they made an, an arrest. And that fire started in the ceiling. That's what they saw. So again, this, this perp, it has nothing to do with any incendiary devices or explosives or counterterrorism. It has nothing to do with that. But again, they had made an arrest. We were in there for five hours. You got it? Okay, simple. We we'll use uh, two questions, and we're continuing opening up. Listen, the primary search so far on this floor is negative. Uh, secondary is underway right now. <laughs> All right. I got uh, four truck relief, squad A teams relief. Right now in the fire department, I got 40 engines, 30 trucks, 44 engines, and 13 truck case, and the rescue battalion with me. All right, we're at one hour now, Tony. So 44 engines. Uh, just be aware, we're going to need to relieve them soon, okay? All right, simple. I have 21 in the vicinity, so we can do that. Just get me another engine and truck face to the floor below, so that way we can affect relief pretty quick. Is there a problem with the elevators? We had the service elevators running before. I don't know, are they, are they still running? They're, they're still running. But I'm going to get a company on that now. Commander Engine 3. Engine 3. All right, listen, you're, you're going to be in my lobby control unit. Um, make sure these elevators are running. We got two banks of elevators, A and B. You got it? Central, right now I got one guy manning bank C, car number five. <laughs> he brought up the, uh, the other post radio that you guys needed up there. All right, guys, I'm going to lower the radio. You guys hear all the chatter that's going on. I don't know any of the particulars. Uh, Chief Corrado's handling the situation very well, as always. Uh, the fire's been going on for a better part of an hour right now. We were way uptown. We got down here at the 40-minute mark. There was smoke blowing out one of the windows. There was never any active flames. Units continue to come in and um they're checking out the situation they got two lines stretched two lines in operation they're still working on getting pockets of fire out inside of the building and that's all i know right now <clears throat> how you doing brother all right Hold on. Division three wants two more ladder trucks. Fire six to the command. Go ahead, Tony. The room that looks like the original fire room appears to be some sort of a living room. We got a couple of couches and like a, an entertainment type. Uh, console in this room, okay? If you want to pass that on to the FBI uh, members, okay? Yeah, that's what. They're right standing right with me right now, and they agree. They understand what you're talking about. But for, so why do you say that, Tony? Anything suspicious? No, negative. I just wanted to narrow down what kind of room it was, that it wasn't a bedroom or, or a kitchen or something like that. Coming down now, Chief. 
I'm never going to really know what the real story is until we get, you know, some information later and uh, whatever the story is going to be. They still have ladders coming in. Uh, the rescue one guys are, looks like they're getting in their rig. And the squad, it's in squad rescue, side by side. <coughs> I see, I think he's turning up that. Now they're coming out very salty from up there, so there was a lot of opening up, a lot of opening up going on back there. <coughs> I think he's checking the mask and stuff like that. Ladder one just got here. Hi brother, how are you? Engine three. Right. Just to clarify, the elevator car. So the D bank, there are two cars. The C bank is one car, mm -hmm. and the D bank, like David, is one car. How you doing, brother? Ten four, Steve. That's correct. All right. Can I get an elevator pickup on fourteen, please? How are you, brother? All right, man. On the way up. Let me go get the other, uh, the guys in the back. I mean, there's nothing to show for fire-wise, so I might as well get the guys working and resetting up everything. They uh, asked, like I said, for two ladders. One of them just got here, ladder one. Here are all the rescue guys. Here comes the other ladder. Let me see. I got a very large amount of personnel here. Uh, I could imagine they did the second alarm <clears throat> because they couldn't find the fire. That's been going on a lot lately. Uh, let's see what this ladder that's coming on. Then we'll go back and check out the guys. Uh, 117, so they must have been acting. <coughs> there you got your EMS. Uh, staging area there and over there. Here the guys doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. One six to roof. All right, they're all changing the uh, the air pack. Just for that hum on that radio, I gotta find out what that is. Uh, <clears throat> all visible fire knocked down, uh, still doubtful. Fire was on the 18th floor, as you know already, hard to find, but they eventually found it and they're still putting water on it. Small pockets right now, and I apologize. I know you guys tell me all the time for lack of better footage, but I wasn't nowhere near the area when this came in. 
So yeah. All right, let me give you guys an update. They released a lot of the companies. They're starting, they're starting to move other companies around. Uh, so, uh, I really, there's not too much more for me to film other than what's going on out here. And uh, people walking back and forth and talking around here and there and this and that and the other. Uh, like I said, they're gonna release more companies and uh, somehow or another, you guys will be able to get the story probably online uh, or one of the sites. Um, uh, we're gonna take up, really, from the uh, Sherry Netherland Hotel, which is a very famous hotel. It's been here for a very long time. You guys can look up the history of it. A lot of people that have worked in my building, doorman and concierge, have left to work here. But anyway, with that said, uh, with two or two, we're gonna see you on the other side from Fifth Avenue and 59th Street at a second alarm, 1077 fire. The fire was in an apartment. It took them 40 minutes or so to find the seat of the fire. Once they found the seat of the fire, they got uh, water on it very quickly and uh, knocked, it, knocked it out. And they asked for another fast truck, so they're going to be relieving the fast truck that's here, changing it for another one. Twenty-five truck. Give him a little love. I should hit the ride, but I got my car. <laughs> Just kidding. Boy. I got you a search roll. Thank you. There's a one seven uh, one five Adam, deputy assistant chief downing reports. Secondary searches, complete and negative throughout, including stairwells, elevators, floors above, floors below. Truck companies continuing to open up. Fire under control. Temple, time of that report and you're under control time is 1345 hours, duration 1 hour 43 minutes. 3, 3, 6, 5, 4, 4. 4. 